Ligari Nation, in this video, we're going to show you how we coated this pool deck and driveway using our Texture Deck kits. Texture Deck is designed to easily go over your exterior concrete and add texture for grip. Ligari Texture Deck is 30% cooler than concrete and requires minimal prep before applying it. It was a perfect product for this project. Watch how we did it. All right, so we everything has already been pressure washed. Everything is absolutely clean, spotless. Now we want to tape off everything you don't want to get the texture on. Remember, if you can see it and it's not taped off, there is the possibility of getting texture on it, and so it must be taped off. So now it's time to mix everything up. So we're going to mix up two batches at a time. And a batch we consider one five gallon bucket of liquid polymer and two bags of the concrete overlay. So we dump half of the liquid polymer into a brute garbage can, and then we mix up the other half that's still in the bucket like I did there, because the liquid polymer also settles in transit as well. You wanna make sure all of the polymers are making it into the mix. And then we have two pigments that we're pouring in. And we like to wear respirators while we're doing this. We don't like to get any, breathe any of the concrete overlay. It's just a good habit to get into. So as somebody's mixing with a low RPM drill with a pretty long mixing wheel there, you can kind of see that. You're just gonna pour the bags in slowly. And then we're going to rinse out the garbage can immediately and just leave it there in the shade ready for the next batch that we're going to mix up in probably about 15 minutes as we run out of concrete overlay and need more. Okay, so now all the concrete overlay is mixed up. Well, not all of it, but what we need and what we can use quickly. 
So you can rent these machines just about anywhere. This is a texture machine for sheetrock mud and it has a long hose so you're not holding a hopper. This is what we recommend. And so you don't want very much air pressure shooting out of this thing. You don't want it shooting like crazy. You want a little bit of airflow and a lot of volume of the concrete overlay. Now when he shoots, he's gonna move very fast. and you're just gonna work your way backwards. And notice how we have a couple guys holding cardboard, one guy shooting, one guy's you know, constantly loading the machine up with buckets, one guy's moving buckets and moving the hoses. I mean, we have five guys on this project. Now this is, this is a few thousand square feet, and so you want about five, at least five guys for a project like this, just to help with cardboard and, and mixing and things like that. We got our next batch made and we're ready to rock and roll. So notice how just methodically moving back and forth if he feels like he needs a little bit more, he'll stop there for a minute and you'll get the hang of it. You almost can't screw it up. And if it's not perfect, you'll never really see it because it is a more busy way to texture. Those darker spots are still where it's starting to set up a little bit. And then when you seal it, it'll really add that color uniformity into it. You, it'll look all the same when you're done. Okay, so now we're pulling the plastic everywhere, everywhere that's already starting to set up. Notice we're still walking on the exposed aggregate a little bit. There's still some, just a few soft spots <clears throat> that we're trying not to hit because it's still setting up. But everywhere where we can reach, we already started to pull plastic so we can seal it. Do not spray your texture unless you have an ability to seal it the same day. Don't, don't shoot your texture and then think you're gonna seal it the next day because inevitably it will get dirty through the night. Sprinklers will come on it birds will poop on it. So just make sure you can do them both steps the same day. Okay, so we had to pull the plastic on that exposed aggregate because we want to seal the exposed aggregate with the pool deck and the patio. So we're just pulling up some of the 
some of the plastic that had texture on it and we're just putting plastic back down in certain places. We have our WB sealer. We're just going to find the little slits and we're just gonna cut down with a razor. Just take the lid off. We're gonna mix it up a little bit, make sure there's nothing settled in the bottom. And then we'll put the lid back on so we can use it. And we, we always recommend using a paint strainer as well. Now notice I'm putting the spout right in the middle between the handle. So when I pull the handle up, that spout is right in the middle of the bucket. It's not on the side where the handle actually connects to the bucket. That's very important. And now we'll build the sprayer. You want a lot of pressure when you're doing these, the ceiling. And what we're gonna do is give it a fine, fine mist, and we're even going to get a lot of the air out of the, the hose by spraying back into the five gallon bucket, making sure it's a real powerful, fine mist. And then when we spray, very simple, and remember, you already got plastic up, so this is very easy. And we're just gonna spray kind of in a circular pattern and walking backwards, just doing a fine mist on everything. It's made to go on thin. And so we recommend three thin coats and we send out enough for three thin coats uh, with our kits. Now this sealer is going to really bring out the color in that texture. Depending on what color you bought, all the colors will be more vibrant once it's sealed. Okay, it's the next day. The sealer's pretty much set up. We can walk on it. Now we're just cleaning up, very simple. And if you've taped high, we always recommend you tape high on the, on, you know, the house, foundations, buildings, always tape high about a quarter of an inch. Then that tape will pull right off. Now, the way that we recommend pulling is, notice how I kind of pulled it towards the project there. That's how you want to that's how you want to pull it. <laughs> 